Hi. We're going to be testing your eyes today. But first, I just need to take a few details, if that's okay with you. Yes? Okay. Now, I'm joined by my medical colleagues, Dr. Mickey Rourke and Dr. Joey, who are both busy snoring in the background to give you a sense of ambiance and calm. So, okay, can I have your full name, please? Okay, and your date of birth is... Well, you look young, good for you. Okay, and can I have your gender, male, female, or non-binary? And do you wear glasses or contacts? Mm -hmm. Any surgery on your eyes in the past? Okay, and your general health is good. Good, 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 good. And do you take any medication for anything at all? Okay, let's get started. So. I'll get you to cover one eye. So if you can cover your one eye for me, please. And I'm going to hold this up. And what I'll get you to do is to read the biggest lesser first with this eye covered. And if you can work your way right down to where the green and red lights, uh, lights? <laughs> green and red bars are on the bottom of the chart. So if you can start from the top and work your way down keeping this one eye covered. Perfect, 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 perfect. That's great. Keep going if you can. Yes, that is perfect. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you missed one or two down at the bottom, but nothing out of the ordinary, so we're going to cover your other eye. I'm going to do the same thing again, but this time, in case you've memorized the letters, which isn't very usual, but sometimes it happens, if I get you to read the letters backwards for me, okay? So, if you can start from the top, and if you can work your way down as far as you can go, right down to the colored bars on the bottom. Yeah, good. Keep going. Keep going. Uh-huh. Perfect. All right, that is fine. Good for you. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to put some drops in your eyes. Now, the whole reason for this is to relax the muscles of your eyes so we get a good look inside your eyes. What these the drops do is they make your pupils bigger so we can have a good look at what's going on inside your eyes. So, I'm just going to pop some drops in your eyes. Okay, now this is called tropicamide, and it doesn't usually have any major side effects. If you can um, look up to the ceiling for me, please, and I'm just going to... Drop this. There you go. Good. And blink. And blink. And blink. Good. That's fine. Okay, we'll just do the other eye for you. So if you look up to the ceiling for me, it's going to pull your lid down and drop that in there. Good. Okay. And if you blink, blink. Blink. Perfect. So, no side effects. They do make your pupils bigger, though. So if the sun is shining outside by the time we finish this, you may want to put some sunglasses on because you'll be a little bit more light-sensitive than uh, you were when you first walked in. So, let's get to it. So I'm just going to shine, first of all, a couple of lights in your eyes. And we do something to begin with called direct ophthalmoscopy. So I'm just going to 
be shining this light in your eyes. And you will have oops, some help with this light here just to check what's going on. So I'm going to come a little bit closer. I hope that's okay. And I want you to look straight ahead for me. If you can pick any one of the pretty lights on the wall that I have behind me. And I'm just going to be shining this in your eyes for a second or two. That is perfect. Good for you. Uh-huh. Now, I'm going to get you to look up to the ceiling for me, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And if you can look down to the floor, I'm just going to lift up your your lid. Okay, good. Uh huh. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, if you can look over to your left hand side for me, please. Mm hmm. Okay, good. And if you can look to your right hand side for me, please. Okay, no, that isn't a lawnmower that we have in the clinic. That's Dr. Joey snoring away. Okay, if you look somewhere over there for me, please. That is perfect, 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 perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if I get you to look right into my light. Yeah, perfect. That's great, good. Okay, so we're going to do your other eye. And if I get you to look straight ahead for me. Please have a, a blink first. Blink and blink. That's great. Good. And again, if you can look straight ahead for me, please, and pick a light, any light. And I'm just going to be coming in very, very close. And just shining this light in your eyes for a second or two. I'm sorry if it's a little bit Okay, good. So, if you can look up to the ceiling for me, please. Mm hmm Yes, good, 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 good. Alrighty, if you could look down to the floor, I'm just gonna lift up your lid again. Mm hmm Okay, good. If you can look over to your left-hand side, I'm gonna come very Keep looking over to your left. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And if you can now look to your right hand side. Mm -hmm. Perfect, good. Okay, good, good, good. Nice and clear. Okay, good. And this time, if you can blink, blink. Blink again. And if you can look directly into my light. Yeah. Mm -hmm. everything, everything seems nice and healthy, but we're going to revisit that towards the end of the test um, when your pupils are a little bit bigger just to see the, the periphery of birth retina. So, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to pop some more drops in your eyes and this is what's called fluorescein and this shows me the once I show a shine a blue light in your eyes it shows me the integrity of both both corneas just to check if there's any lumps bumps or scratches that we need to be worried about so again this doesn't hurt but it does make your eyes a lovely orangey yellow color for the next couple of hours or so so if I get you to Look up to the ceiling. I'm just going to pull down your lid. I just pop that in there. Good. Okay. And blink. 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 Perfect. Okay. And if you look up again for me, I'll just pop that in there. Good. And blink. Blink. Shine a 
cobalt blue light in your eyes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you, on the count of three, I'd like you to blink once and then keep your eyes open as long as you can. Okay? So, one, two, three, and... break up time around 10 seconds which is pretty good so we're gonna have a look now at the other eye so same thing I'll get you on the count of three to blink once and then keep your eyes open as long as you can okay so one two three and Okay, if you can blink again for me, blink again, and blink again, that's great, okay, and keep your eyes open as long as you can for me, mm -hmm. yeah, that's great. So far, so good, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to have a closer look at the um, what we call the adnexa around the uh, your eyelids and the the, the bony orbit uh, that houses your your eyes. So I'm going to be shining this light in your eyes. And I'm going to be coming a little bit closer to you. So if I get you to look up for me, please. I'm just going to be looking at your lids your lower lids. See if there's any concretions or anything in the lower conjunctiva. Okay, good. And having a look at the other eye, we're going to do the same thing. So, okay, if you look up for me, please. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. And if I could get you to Look down for me, please, and I'm just going to lift up both eyelids at the same time because I'm pretty talented that way. And we're just going to have a look at the inside of the upper eyelids just to see what's going on, if there's any lumps, bumps or roughness on the um, inside of your upper eyelids. Mm -hmm. Do you wear contacts? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Perfect. Okie doke. Okay. So, next up is a little bit of a lo-fi test. We're going to do some more sophisticated tests a little bit later on, but for the moment, if I get you to look at the bridge of my nose, now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be bringing this pen in. Um, from the, uh, the outside of the periphery of your, your vision. And the trick is, if you keep looking at the bridge of my nose, I want you to tell me when you notice the, when you notice the, the pen top, the purple of the pen top, coming into your field of view. Okay? We'll have a dummy run so that, uh, you know, if there's any confusion, we can deal with it then. So um, if you look at the bridge of my nose and just say now, when you see the pen come into your field of view... Yes, okay, so you got it, all right. So we're gonna do one eye at a time, and then we'll do both eyes. So if you can cover this one eye for me, please. Perfect, and tell me when you notice the pen come into your field of view. Yes, good, and again, and again, mm -hmm. and again, and again. And again. Yeah, perfect, good. Okay, let's try the other side. So, again, looking just at the bridge of my nose, or straight ahead, I'm just going to cover this one eye. Uh huh, good. 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 Great, that's good. 
using both eyes together. Bridge of my nose, tell me when your nose is the pen. Yeah. Good. And now, good. Mm hmm. Yes, good. Good. Mm hmm. Good. Perfect. That's great. Now, I need you to follow my instructions for this. Now, I'm going to do some switching. I'm going to do some switching of focus, which tells me your uh, amplitude of accommodation, which is your focusing ability for up close. So, what I want you to do now, I'm going to shine, I'm going to come in really close, and I'm going to shine this light. Hold this light about here. But I want you to look at the bridge of my nose and then switch to the light. Okay, good. I'm going to start moving the light around. So, bridge of my nose, then switch to the light. Okay, good. Bridge of my nose, switch to the light. It's fine. Nose and light. 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 Okay, good. Nose and light. 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 Perfect. That's great. Good. All right. So this time, what I'm going to get you to do I'm going to get you to tell me. When the light intensity on this light bar changes. So you notice it's a little bit dim at the moment and it's off. <laughs> so tell me when you notice it change. Okay, good. 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 Okay, we're going to try it on a different side. So. Tell me when you notice it change. Good. 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 Perfect. That's great. Keep looking straight ahead. We're going to do this um, horizontally now. So tell me when it changes. Good, good, good. Great. Um, we'll try the lower hemisphere. So again, tell me when you notice it change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perfect. That, my friend, is 100%. 10 out of 10. Now, what I'm going to do next is an old school method of um, checking the pressures within your eyes. So, if I get you to blink, 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 and if you can close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, and I'm going to be pressing very, very gently on your eyelids and just Pressing the globe of your eyes just to check the internal pressure, which, if it's too high, can be a sign of glaucoma, which is an eye disease that you don't want to get. But you always feel absolutely fine. Okay, good. You can open your eyes now, and if you look straight ahead, just kind of have a feel around the orbit of your eyes. 
Just to check that the bone is intact. Okay. Tell me if this feels at all uncomfortable or painful, okay? Okay, good. Now just to relax you a little bit more, I'm just going to smooth your brow. Just going to smooth down your face a little bit. Good. Okay, that's great. So, what we'll do next? Not a lot of optometrists do this, but I'm going to check the heartbeat of your eyes, which is totally a thing. So, if I get you to Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. And I'm just going to be popping this over the front. It's a little bit cold to apologize. And I'm just going to listen for any thrill or brewing. And that is good. Okay, good. So again, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And let's have a listen on this side. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Joe, you're being very loud. I do apologize. Okay, so let's see where we're up to. I just need to check your pupillary reflex, which, as I put the trapicomide in, won't be very, very strong, but we're going to do it anyway for the purposes of this investigation. So if I get you to uh, look straight ahead for me, please, and just choose a light, any light, I'm just going to be swinging this from side to side. Yeah, perfect. Good, 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 good. That's great. Good for you. Mm -hmm. And if I get you now to just put your hand just here, we'll do the swinging light test. Okay, direct, consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual, direct, consensual. Now what I want you to do now is if you can keep looking at the light for me, and if you can follow the light a little bit, it's going further out, so if you can keep looking at the light, Okay, good. And keep looking at the light, 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 keep looking at the light. Okay, good. Now, if you can um, keep your head dead still. You doing okay? All right, good. Keep your head still. And I want you to look at the light, follow the light just with your eyes. Okay? So if you follow the light just with your eyes. Perfect. That's great. Good for you. Uh-huh. That's great. Keep going. You're doing very well. Blink if you need to. Okay. We're going to do concentric circles. So if you can just keep following the line. Now I say concentric circles, there's really no other kind. <laughs> but you know what I mean. So the circles get smaller and smaller. Okay, perfect, good. If you can look at the light for me, please. Try and keep looking at the light. Try and keep looking at the light for me, please. Okay, and follow it a little bit further away. Keep looking at the light. Yeah. Perfect. That's great. All right. So now the last test we're going to do is we're going to do some more switching. So this time I want you to look at the tip of my finger. Okay. And when I say now, uh, switch to the light. So 
now. Okay, good. And now look back to my finger and switch to the light. Good. Back to my finger. Switch to the light. Good. Back to my finger and switch to the light. Good. Back to my finger and switch to the light. Perfect. Back to my finger. Switch to the light. Okay, good. Okay. And look at my finger and the light. 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 Okay, good. Look at my finger. Switch to the light. Look at my finger. Switch to the light. Finger and 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 light. That's great. Good for you. Okay, so if you could look at the tip of my finger again. Keep looking at the tip of my finger. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Yeah, that's good. Good for you. Okay, let me just pop all of those results down. But you have 20-20 vision. No need for glasses or contacts. And your eyes are perfectly, perfectly healthy, which is always good news. Okay. So, one last test I'm going to do before I let you go is if I get you to close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, and I'm going to be just tapping along the top of your brow. Very, very light tapping. And you tell me if you feel any discomfort or any pain as I tap. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I just feel again, just your lymph nodes, just lift your chin up just a little bit for me. Okay, everything is present and correct, so you're good to go. We will see you again in six months. Any issues between now and then, of course, just pop back in. So, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.